As I'm sure you're all well aware, Cody sat down for an interview with the YouTube channel Mormon Discussion. The conversation was about two hours long and the host mainly stuck to questions about Cody's faith crisis and his current family dynamics. They were very careful to avoid possible show spoilers. While Cody does have a tendency to go off on tangents, he did a pretty good job of not getting into the weeds too much except for one moment when he got a little too comfortable and he forgot that he was live. He ended up saying some things about Robin's family that he wished he hadn't. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. If I was Robin, I'd be 95% happy with Cody's performance in that Mormon discussion interview. He complimented Robin's looks. He said she was sweet, if not shy. It was all going really well for Cody's fourth wife until for some reason, Cody decided to reveal how annoyed he gets by Robin's other mother. They made up this stuff. And the reason that they made it up was because they wanted to give power of people over other people in a relationship. But I, I totally believe that it's a control issue. They introduced plural marriage. At the same time, they introduced eternal marriage. And what that did is that gave men the opportunity to have more than one wife while the wife had the promise of having her husband indefinitely. But so I'm not saying that I don't believe in um, eternal marriage, but I think that's on the merits of the marriage. And if you didn't have your stuff together or didn't like each other in this life, you're not together in the next life. And I, and I argue that point with Robin's other mother all the time because she wants she wants that marriage. She wants to own that man in the next life. And I feel bad for him because I'd be running from her. Hopefully she's not listening. Oh, wait, God, can you guys edit that out? Cody says, I feel bad for him, Robin's stepdad, because I'd be running from her, Robin's stepdad's other wife. He really did step in it, didn't he? It's interesting. And this actually sparked a new conspiracy theory for me. So buckle up. We know Cody's relationships with his kids and his original three wives were struggling long before COVID. His preference for Robin was always obvious and the move to Flagstaff just cemented what all of the kids and the wives knew to be true. Cody had a favorite wife and by proxy, that meant that he had favorite kids. But then something nobody could have predicted happened, the pandemic. It really was unprecedented times. I mean, it wasn't since the early 1900s had the world seen a virus affect humankind on such a global scale. People didn't know what to do, and we all were kind of learning and following doctors as they learned more about this virus. Honestly, Cody's response to COVID wasn't all of that ridiculous in my opinion. Better safe and alive and feeling a little silly for going overboard in protocols than be sorry. I mean, I get it. The ridiculousness of Cody is that these COVID protocols of his only applied to Mary Janelle Christine and their kids. He made tons of rationalizations and excuses for why it was okay for him to go off and do just about anything else rather than spend time with his other wives and children. COVID-19 was the perfect excuse for Cody to just not fake the funk anymore. His family and his kids talk about just how radically he changed during the pandemic. He was no longer optimistic about his faith, we heard him say things like he viewed his family as an obstacle to his goals. McKelty has said over on her Patreon that the years 2020 to 2022 were a really dark time for her dad. So Cody is quarantining with Robin and her kids. Janelle told him early on not to come over. Mary has long been out of the equation and Cody hates Christine. So it's easy for him to not make an effort. Robin's household never quarantined from anyone other than the OG three and their kids. The nanny was coming over. Cody was officiating weddings. Cody and Robin were spotted shopping at a mall and they were still seeing Robin's family. So Cody has these existing strained relationships with his original three wives. And the only in-laws that he's really around are Robin's family. 
And apparently it's just a lot of bitching about Robin's stepdad's other wife. And just a little reminder about Robin's upbringing. Her dad kept his families in separate states, in Utah and Nevada. It was just a few hours of a drive between the households, but much further than Cody's wife's setups in Flagstaff. Robin has said that her mom is the one that taught her how she makes it so that every day is a honeymoon whenever Robin's stepdad would come over. Well, now we are learning from Cody that there is some beef apparently with the other wife. The other wife wants to lay claim to Robin's dad in the hereafter. And it seems like the general consensus on Robin's mom's side of the family is that sounds like straight up not a good time. So my conspiracy is that Cody was somehow getting indoctrinated on what a drag other plural households were from his in-laws and that really influenced his behavior towards the OG3 and their kids. I think that maybe that accounts for this shift in character that the family reports seeing in him during this time, but who knows? The interview goes on, but as it was wrapping up, Cody takes the time to yet again inquire as to editing at the comments he made about Robin's other mother. I, I, I told one story, Bill, that, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you talk about editing here, but I was a little, too, I crossed the line, I was a little too vulnerable, and it was about other people's lives, not about yeah. mine. If you've got a way to get that out. I will, um, I will. Try to do that. It's, this is a live show, but it I looks like only 17,000. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, because, because what it is, is uh, I was talking about other people's lives yeah. with my opinion, and it's yeah. not my life. So totally. I was talking with my opinion. I'll okay, so that we can find it. So Bill can find it to take it out. Could you repeat no, what it is you said? No, no, let's just. <laughs> there, let me uh, RFM <laughs> stir in the pot. All right. So something that struck me, and I'm probably nitpicking here. But he says, I got a little too vulnerable. He could have said, I got a little too comfortable, but he chose the word of vulnerable. Vulnerable to me indicates a person who is on the lower end of a power imbalance. Cody and Robin, even through their word choice, continually paint themselves as victims. Oh, I got a little too vulnerable. Look what you made me do. As if these men used nefarious means to coax that information out of him. With this blunder, I wonder if we will see any subsequent attempts by Cody to hang out with the youths over on YouTube. And that's the thing about live streaming. It's live. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As always, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.